Howdy, Alberto Soto here with your DC. I'm sitting here with Mr. Andy Shalal. That's me. That's right. And that's the guy. I'm the guy. And you're the guy. I'm the guy. We're the I'm guys. The, I'm, yeah, we're the we're guy. The, the two guys. Maybe it's a good podcast. Yeah, it is. <laughs> two guys and a video. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I like We should do that. We should do that. I like it. I like it too. Yeah. All right, so... I don't know if anybody knows who Mr. Andy Shalau is actually the founder of uh, and founder and CEO of um, Bus Boys and Poet. Um, so anyway, thank you again for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Absolutely. And um, so actually, well, this is actually your story. I am here. Yeah. yeah it's a yeah. pleasure for me to be here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At my place. Right. It is. <laughs> well, I'm delighted to be here in your place. It's a pleasure to have you here. Yeah. How's that? I got my food over there too. So oh, good. Yeah, oh, ready. good. So, all right, so what got you started, Mr. Andy, or Mr. Shalai? What got you started uh, with... You call uh, me Andy. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, Andy, what, what got you started with the Buzz Boys and Poet? What was your purpose of creating Buzz Boys and Poet? Um, to meet people like you. Wow. This is the, the kind of place that I feel like people come to, feel comfortable, yeah. be a part of a community, right. um, uplift one another. Right. Uh, you know, it's a place that I thought was missing in D.C. You know, wow. D.C., tends to be very segregated. It's, right. a, it's a town that doesn't tend to really bring people together as much as it should. Right. And I feel like sometimes uh, these kinds of public spaces like restaurants are ideal for those types of interactions. Right. But we don't take advantage of them. Wow. And I want to take advantage of the opportunity when you have people sitting at the table having mm -hmm. food and relaxing, it'd be great for them to be exposed to things that they may be more receptive to at that time than right. they would. And at, more of a formal right. forum. Okay. Wow, so just kind of a place where anybody and everybody can come together. Absolutely. And not feel uncomfortable. Yeah. You know, um, I mean, even when I came in, I mean, everybody's diverse. All your waiters, your waitresses, yeah. everybody's, you know, multicultural. Even yeah. like the art in here, everything's yeah, very... Absolutely. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's all geared to get the vibe to that we really want to create, which is like we're a place for lots of different people to come yeah. together. It's amazing, yeah. Because I mean, I, I'm a I'm a huge fan of Buzzwood. I actually Thank go you. to your uh, 14 and B location because uh, I'm very close to that location. That was the first one. Yeah. 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 Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah, and I mean, when I go there, I mean, you feel very open. You know, everybody's just open. You know, so it's amazing. Good. So look, um, what um, where are you originally from? Originally, I'm from Baghdad, Iraq. Wow. You may have heard that country. Yeah. 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 Been in the news yeah, yeah. <laughs> lately. Uh, <laughs> Most people didn't even know the difference between Iraq and Iran before the war. Right. Unfortunately, wars tend to teach us about geography yeah, yeah. and about politics. Wow. And, uh, so sure. here we are. I've been here for over 50 years now. Wow. Okay. I'm only 40. But... So I'm not going to lie. I actually <laughs> thought you were African American. Do you get that a lot? A lot of people think that. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Could be one of my nephews. I probably, yeah. I probably <laughs> am. I don't know. <laughs> I might have to go, you know, ancestry.com. Right, that. exactly, <laughs> exactly. I've actually, I've actually done that. Hey, come on. I've actually done the ancestry.com. Really? But I'm not gonna do the, the Elizabeth Warren thing. <laughs> come out with it. You know, it's like okay, some things you gotta keep to yourself. Yeah, you, you, you can't share everything. Yeah, I mean, some you people... can't share everything. You know, I mean, in this country, it's, fu it's funny how we deal with race. We deal with race like it's some magical. Yeah. Uh, divider you know race yeah. or not race is so fluid right. and yet this country we know exactly what it is right. we know exactly right. what it looks like yeah. we know exactly what happens to people that have that one drop you know right. Right. and yeah. um you know i have a lot more than one drop but still right. i don't i'm not african-american right. no, absolutely. because i'm not i don't have that experience yeah. and that's the key yeah. you know a lot of people come in and say oh i'm I'm black because I'm like, you know, 10% or whatever. But yeah. did you go up that way? Did you get that experience? Wow. And that's not the case. Uh, then yeah. you're a yeah. You know, I mean, I know that's, that's a good controversial, point. but. No, it, it is, but I mean, it makes sense. I mean, you know, for myself, I'm a percentage, I'm actually African American as well. Uh, but, I, but I was raised African American. So, like, I could completely understand it. Yeah. You know, yeah. My mom's side, she, well, my father's side, my grandmother, she raised me. She's African American. Yeah. So, yeah. I can believe And I think, I think, you know, if you present that way, if you look that way, that's very different than if you uh, don't present that way, don't look right. that way. Right. You know, I can look at you and say, yes, you're black. Right. Um, you look at me, you don't know. Right. You know, so it may not be, is it if I had grown up in a 
black environment, right. uh, you know, was raised by that, it, my experience would be totally different. But I came to race kind of late in the game. I right. came to race when I was 10 years old. I had no idea what race was right. because I grew up in a country that didn't see race. You right. know, other yeah. things were definitely there, like right. class and all that other stuff. But race was not one of the categories that people were separated by. Yeah. And to see how coming to this country suddenly like that trumps everything right. um, became kind of an obsession with me in a sense. Because yeah. I was seen as being black. And uh, especially when I was a kid, I had an afro, I was darker because you got the sun all the time. Right. So you got that kind of uh, thing going and, and then culturally I didn't fit. Right. So like I didn't fit wow. in the white yeah, category yeah, either. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're so it was like yeah. you got you know, not in the white category, not in the black category. There was no real brown category back then. You know, people just yeah. had to fit one side or the other. And I felt like, where do I fit? Right. And that's why I was always kind of feeling like that outsider. Right. And um, wanted to make sure that um, others who are like me and others who are identify more strictly in one race or another right. can all feel comfortable coming to a space where they don't feel like they're an outsider. Right. I don't want anyone to come in here and feel like I'm an outsider. Wow. You did a hell of a great job to make that, that the space yeah. feel like this. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. yeah. Seriously. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I feel like the only way you could feel, I mean, you have to humble yourself when you're here. You know what I'm saying? Unless you have some type of like eternal issue or whatever. Yeah, case, right. you know? yeah. And that's just, you know, that's just self improvement. But um no, I mean I came in here, I mean I'm I'm an entrepreneur myself, yeah. you know, so I could have my ups and highs, you know, when it comes to like my uh how I care you know, how I carry myself. You yeah, know, which yeah. we all do, you know, yeah. but I think it's just the practice of humility. Yeah. Um, but when I come in here it's like you have no choice but to be respectful and be loving and caring because that's how everybody works. Yes, exactly. You know? Exactly. And yeah. So it's amazing. Yeah. Um, so what is so I mean that's pretty much wraps up the purpose. Your purpose, right? Yeah, yeah. it does. Yeah. Okay. It does. So why the name Bus Boys and Poets? Well, Bus Boys and Poets is named after a very famous poet named Langston Hughes. Oh wow. Um, Langston familiar. Hughes yeah. was uh, seen by many as kind of the uh, the real the father of the Harlem Renaissance. Yeah. Um, he was here during, he was born in 1902, um, lived in Harlem for quite some time. Right. Uh, he moved to DC for, for job opportunities and started working at the Boardman Park Hotel as a, as a, as a busser. Right. He was wow. a busboy. Wow. And, um, you know, he also was writing poetry, and that's where the name came from. So he wow. was known as the busboy poet for right. right. wow. some time there. Yeah, I'm yeah. very familiar with Langston Hughes. I actually had a teacher, Miss Harris. She actually, she used to say I look, I looked like him when I was young, yeah. Yeah. younger, yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, whatever. Not, not, yeah, not, yeah. yeah, not to put the shot yeah. on me, but yeah, put a, put a fedora on you, and yeah, yeah you could, you could go. <laughs> The yeah, Langston Hughes way. Right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Langston Hughes is a great guy. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. I never knew that. I never knew that. So is that something that you kind of like? You, uh, I mean, is that is that is he like your idol or somebody that you looked up to? Or yeah, you... I mean, I, I I love poetry. I've okay, always been a that. student of poetry. Okay. I have uh, I had a teacher as well. You know, it's, a, it's interesting how teachers can have such a huge impact on mm -hmm. on young minds. And, yeah. Um, I had a teacher that was very much into the Harlem Renaissance and taught us about Langston Hughes when I was in middle school. And we had to memorize poetry. You know, back when I was going to school, memorizing poetry was was something people did. Yeah. And uh, I think there's a huge value in that. I know we don't want people just memorize stuff, but poetry has a certain way of entering the mind um, mm. once you memorize it in a, in a very special way. Yeah. And I think having very special words come out of your mouth tend to, um, uh, you know, Deepen the way you think about things and so right. understand the world around you. Yeah. And I think it's uh, it was great. So I have lots of poetry in my head yeah. from Langston Hughes. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Is that just a personal question? I mean, is that something that kind of like helps you curate with maybe issues and stuff like that? You kind of just go back to some of these like pleasant poets, yeah. like poetry that you've read in the past? Possibly? I think, like a I think poetry. You know? Poetry does have a certain spirituality to it. I wow. think it's uh, okay. it really does um, call to a higher level of thinking uh, right. and makes people kind of pause yeah. and think about every word they say. Yeah. It also makes you understand the power of words. Right. 
and how words, when they're combined certain ways together, can have a huge impact and influence on people. Yeah. So I think at some level, poetry does provide that sort of um, um, way of seeing the world differently. Yeah. And I think we all need to do that sometimes. Right. Absolutely. I agree. <clears throat> yeah. I need to. I need to read a little bit more poetry actually myself. So my last question, Mr. Uh, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> um, what uh, what are your goals for 2019? What do you what are your personal goals and what are your business goals for 2019? What are we what are we going to be looking forward to um, us us here Washingtonians, um, as we all know, us as a poet. You know, what are we going to be looking forward to seeing, either from yourself and also your business? Um, you know, I'm always always questioning uh, my existence, questioning my purpose. Um, yeah. You know, uh, I, I want to be able to think more deeply about that and make myself better, yeah. um, improve the way I see the world, uh, have more of an open mind, mm -hmm. uh, accepting of others. Right. Um, I want to um, make sure that we become a place where we are one of the best places to work. Mm -hmm. um, I want to make sure that we honor our employees and our associates and our tribe members as we call them. Yeah, tribe members, um, yeah. I want to, um, you know, my focus right now is opening my place in uh, Southeast, wow. uh, in Anacostia. Wow. And that's going to be a game changer, I think, in many ways. Yeah. I want to make sure that that game changing is for the good right. and not just another um, you know, vehicle yeah, to yeah. change uh, or gentrify a community. Right, that's right. That's not the intent. The intent yeah. of it is to uh, uplift and, and uh, really honor and respect the community right. in a very, very significant way. And that's, right. that's my goal. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, that's really exciting. So, look, Ms. Uh, Andy, I just want to say Mr. I don't know. Yeah, because yeah. I'm much older than you. Yeah, that's yeah, why. That's yeah. exactly what yeah, it is. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You've been raised well. That's yeah, why. I was. Yeah, I yeah. was. Thank you, family. <laughs> thank you. Anyway, but um, yeah, Andy, um, thank you again. It's my pleasure. Um, I'm very excited um, to just see exactly what's gonna, you know, go full flourish, you know, for 2019 for your business. Yeah. Um, especially with the project in, in Southeast, I think that's yeah. gonna be huge. Um, I know they're actually just built a, uh, I think, uh, what, do, what do you call it, uh, that uh, nonprofit right off of 14th Street, not, actually not too far from where you are. I uh, can't think of the name right now. I'm just at it. Martha's it's, Table? Yeah, Martha's Table. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Actually the, I think they just built a big uh, Yeah, yeah. It's there. huge. It's a beautiful yeah. setting they have there. They yeah. have a gorgeous uh, campus with a with a view of this city that yeah. is spectacular. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to that, check it out. <laughs> that backyard they have overlooking the city is pretty awesome. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to be like nearby that? Uh, not that close, not that close but we're, close. we're closer to the bridge, okay. closer to the water. Okay. So, uh, we're, you know, as you enter into Anacostia, Martin Luther King Avenue, we're right there. Okay, perfect. All right. So is there anything that you want to tell the people, um, you know, any words of wisdom, uh, maybe perhaps your social media content, or perhaps your social media handles, how can we contact you or reach you? Uh, not even sure. yourself, but you know. Well, do uh, you tweet? Yeah, I do tweet. Okay. I, I uh, my tweets are are political. Uh, okay. At Andy Shalal is my Twitter handle. Okay. Um, and my um, Instagram. Um, I don't do a lot of Instagramming. Um, you should get somebody uh, yeah. on board. Some, some, sometimes, <laughs> yeah, sometimes I get tired of doing that. But yeah. but Best Boys and Poets does. So we have a lot of uh, social media presence. Best okay. Boys and Poets. We have our YouTube channel. We have uh, at bestboysandpoets.com. Okay. We have. Uh, you know the uh, Facebook and, and all of all of that. We and we live stream a lot of our stuff. So yeah, I heard somebody said they were live streaming some on Facebook. Yeah, we we, we had uh, I interviewed uh, Ralph Nader yesterday wow. on stage here, and uh, we live wow. streamed it. Yeah, okay. it's pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah, wow. Well, thank you so much for having us. It's my pleasure. Thank you. And, um, that was totally painless. I came here yeah. to experience pain, and I <laughs> experienced none. I mean, you're in the comfort of your home. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I was a little painful. A little no, bit, no. A little bit. You're anyway, great. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Thank you.